legitimately struggling in this heat. I think I'm a secret ginger, there's no other explanation. <laughs> <laughs> it's your name Kate welcome back to my channel so today I'm heading down to a Yamaha launch I'm going to be test riding some XSR 125s I don't normally go on launches for 125 so I think this should be pretty fun there's a few people going there who I know well so we've got Tomboy a bit we've got Ruby Rides and we've got Motorbob so getting out on the road with them on 125s I think it's going to be a blast so stick around stay tuned and I will next play the vlog when I'm down there. I'm five minutes away from the launch. It's taking me down some little weird wobbly roads. Nice and late. Brilliant. Of course I am. I'm always late. Now that traffic got me. There we go. Hello. Where should I park there? Ah. Ugh. Hi! Oh my god, so good to see you. Ah, I know! <laughs> Are you okay? Oh my god, you're riding this. Yeah. Is that Ruby? That's Ruby. That's gotta be Ruby. I can't wait to see her. I've not seen her in ages. Ruby! <laughs> I heard a noisy bitch. I was like, I know it's you. <laughs> I got music. I can't hear shit. Look at her do her thing, she's such a superstar. Go on, Ruby. Work it, girl, get those angles. Work it, girl, get those angles. <laughs> We've got Motorbob there, he's currently working his magic, doing his professional thing. Yeah, we're all amateurs compared to this chap. And then we've got Tomboy a bit there. And then we've got Ruby Rides there. So today, guys, I am at the Yamaha. XSR 125 launch. It's these little retro looking beauties. So they are 125s. I'm going to talk you around the bike quickly. But yeah, it looks it looks elegant. It looks good. So there are three colour options with this bike. You've got this lovely black with the red and grey detail. It's got a black mud guard as well. Just looks really nice. Here you've got a red one. It's a proper bold colour. It pops. And it's got the white detailing as well. Nice little XSR125. Red mud guard. And then you've got the bumblebee of the group, which is the yellow with the black Yamaha. Which is just really nice. Colour options, really. I don't think I'd be particularly mad to have any of those in my garage. So obviously, 125 engine. I think it's pretty good that it's got upside down forks. I quite like that. It just makes it feel, you know, a lot less cheap. There's a lot of parts on here that look really sort of quality, which is good. So the bike pumps out 15 brake horsepower. I already kind of can guess what the comments are going to be like. Oh, two strokes, you get well more power. Well, it's kind of 2021. We've got emissions laws to keep up with so four stroke 
is king at the moment. We've got these single sort of lights which just keep it in tune with the XSR brand. They've got this like circular light as well. And it does have it on the front. It even says XSR on there, which is a nice little touch. So this is what the dash looks like. You've got your miles an hour nice and big there. It does have a gear indicator, nice touch for 125. You've got your time and you've got your fuel gauge. Nice and clear. And then obviously you've got your revs around the outside. Switch gear, nice and basic. Literally just what you need. Indicators, horn, you know, main beam, dip beam, well, main beam there, dip beam. So my first impressions of the Yamaha XSR 125. It's a really elegant looking 125. It looks really robust. It doesn't look like a flimsy piece of kit. It looks like it's made of quality materials. Like for example, upside down forks, you don't really see them on like sort of Chinese competitors. Everything's all a little bit budget, but you really don't get that feel with this. You've got this gorgeous seat, which the quality of it looks amazing. It's not something that you'd think would be on a 125. The dash, it's all circular, in keeping with the look of the circular lights, front and rear, which just ties in the XSR theme throughout the range, like the 700, the 900. You know, the exhaust doesn't look terrible for a Euro 5 exhaust. It's nice and black, it sounds really good. So I do get to ride a fair few small capacity bikes. I think the one that I ride most frequently is a bit bigger than a 125. It's a, a G310R. Um, so I am used to like light feeling bikes and um, as I get to ride it quite a lot. But I think the last proper 125 that I rode was um, a GSX-R125, so it's more of a sporty position. I'm just kind of looking forward to riding a naked roadster, classic looking bike and just seeing how it compares really. Awesome, let's fire it up! Oh, it's got a nice little sound to it. Mount the pony, or should I say the Shetland. So there will be no fancy trickery here. There will be no quick shifters, auto blippers. We are on a 125. Oh, look how good that back light looks. Look at you. I love the visor, yes. So stylish. It feels like a girl's ride out and Bob. <laughs> They are quite tall, aren't they? Yeah, for, what's your yeah, for a 125, 815 mil. <laughs> Come on, Ruth, you nutter. I don't think she wanted to be first. Hank, hank. Let's go. Okay, so we're working with all 15 horses. Lots of gravel. Great. <laughs> Rev it. <laughs> oh, this will be so different to what Ruby's just come in on. How does it feel? You know what I love about it? It's got a gear indicator. I know. I would have loved that when I first started. Yeah, you want to know what you're in, exactly. You want to the bike. Definitely. Especially if you're like riding a 125 and you're like learning, it's nice like visually just to see it as well. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, even though I've been riding like 14 years, I still love it, like having it there. Yeah. That's what it handles beautifully. Yeah. For a 125, and it's steady as planted. Yeah, it's Honestly, good. Like, if it had, if, if, if say it, it was a 500cc, you wouldn't think it. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Like a, it's obviously got the power of one Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it feels good. So this bike retails at £4,450. This is day two of the launch. I believe like the insurance companies and the journals went first. 
So obviously you read a few comments, you get a feel for what people are saying about things. And I think one of the main criticisms that I'm seeing about this bike is that it's expensive for a 125. But it does feel like you get a lot of style and design and aesthetics for the price tag. But no, the ride is is not too bad. It's quite comfortable. I'm in a nice upright position. I'm not hunched over sport bike style. I've got a nice bend in my knee. It is just a typically naked setup in terms of body position for me anyway at five foot four with a 29 inch inseam. National Road. Haha, <laughs> good brakes. Suspension is really good actually. It's really firm. It's not sloppy, soft, wallowy and basic feeling. It does actually feel really good. No, it's a really pleasant ride. I'm on the red one. Tank is quite slim. Knees hug it quite well. Ruby's going full tuck. I feel like it almost looks like it could be a 400. But no, I'm super impressed with that suspension. little sound to it when it's singing. This bike feels really really light. I believe its wet weight is something like 140 kilograms which is absolutely nothing. Full throttle. Bends around here. Wow, look at that roof. Yes. All good, yeah. So we've just come back in from a ride on the XSR 125. How was it, girls? It was really good. Yeah? Really good. Really enjoyed uh, the bike. It's exceeded my expectations for a 125. Yeah. And honestly, I'm having lots of fun on the uh, 125, and I never yeah. thought I'd say that. No. That's <laughs> yeah. so good. What What do you like best about it? Like, what's a standout feature for you? I, I like how the well, look and performance, uh, like how well it balanced, mm -hmm. because it looks retro, but at the same time, it, it has for 125, I would say, high end performance. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Mm, mm. For sure, I think uh, the suspension, the handling really surprised me. The brakes are amazing. Yeah, Seriously, like we had to brake hard a few times. Yeah. The brakes are lovely, the back <laughs> brakes are nice. That was it, yeah, that was funny. But you know, it's uh, it's really exceeding my expectations for 1 to 5. And honestly, I think it's a great starter bike or a second bike if you commute around town. Yeah. Great bike to have. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. And the styling is luxury. Oh, it's yeah. so classy and elegant. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. And, and you and you can customize it as well. Mm. Even mm. Yamaha has kits for you yeah. to choose the style, and you can customize it before buying. So basically, mm. for an extra few quid mm -hmm. a month, you can put you can make it yours. Yeah, because yeah. I, I think like the XSR nine hundred, there was like in a bath, and it had like a nose cone and a cafe racer kit. Yeah. And uh -huh. you can get that on there. On yeah. that, yeah. Oh, which is just. Two options, yeah, two packages. Yeah, it's like yeah. the street Brilliant. and the cafe racing Brilliant. one or something. Because when you first starting up, you want something a bit cool and custom, and like yours, yeah, yeah. Like it's yours. Yeah, good, o good options to have for yeah, a startup yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not just wrap and, and color change. Yeah. Because I think color, color options are brilliant. Yeah. 
they've got the red, the yellow, and yeah. then the grey and black. It's beautiful yellow. Yeah. It's not just yellow. And the tank is glittery black, yeah. Yeah. which I think yeah. is a really nice yeah. touch. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Very kind of retro colours, but at the same time it looks badass. Modern. Yeah. And yeah. modern, for sure. Yeah. It doesn't look retro, retro. It doesn't yeah. look like it's from 1970s. No, no, no. It's got a modern twist yeah. to it, and it's very comfortably positioned. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> yeah. You got a spider? No, that's gross. <laughs> yeah, so like, I find the riding position great. Like, I feel like the bars are, are quite high, which is nice. Really nice. Yeah. Um, the switch gear is really simplistic. Yeah. There's obviously no like self cancelling indicators, but it's a one two five. Don't really matter. Yeah. The gearbox yeah. is nice and smooth as well. Yeah, you don't yeah, get yeah. false neutral or anything like that. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. It's, oh um, no, no. It was so easy. I, 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 I still can't find neutral on my bike. <laughs> <laughs> I have new clutch, so I might. Yeah, that sure. After forty five thousand miles. Yeah. And I was yeah. thinking it's me at the beginning, but it's not. Like, mm. With that, that much riding, you should be able to. Mm. So, actually, just moving away from the uh, Yamaha XSR125, girls, what do you ride? Like, what? Tell, tell the audience, tell the guys. I ride what? everything that I can get on, <laughs> but I, I have Harley Davidson sports stuff. Cool. Nice. Is it the 883? It it's the... not anymore. Oh, it's 1200. Oh, nice. <laughs> She's so badass. She looks good on any bike. Have you seen her ride the, eight, the R18? No. R19. Yeah, oh, sorry. 18. The R18. 18. The customized yeah. one. It, it Unreal. Wow. She was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Inside I was like, oh my god. <laughs> what I'm doing? That was impressive. And what do you have, Reed? So I have the Kawasaki H2, uh, HP4 BMW. So nice. And RSV4 1100, which is my new newest bike. Yeah. And I'm taking it on track soon. So. Is it? Yeah. So, doing it on track. which is your favourite? Which is my favourite. They're all, I love them all in different ways. They all do very different things. Yeah, yeah. The H2 is a straight liner. It's a show bike. It's a statement bike. It's mm -hmm. a stereotype breaker. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> the HP4 is amazing on track. And then the RSV4 <laughs> is insane power, but very nimble and well handling. So yeah. it's a mixture of both. Mm -hmm. And it actually scares me the most. Yeah, because so it has sounds scary to be fair. Unreal, the V4, yeah. the talking they're very different bikes. So, yeah. yeah. Also, so we've got quite an eclectic mix between us, haven't we? You've got our sports bikes, you've got the Harley, I've got the GS. Yeah, yeah. they're all, yeah. all very oh, different. I have, I have like, you guys just just amazing. Like, you on sports bikes and you on GS. I took GS once and it's like, Jesus, ah, it's, it's, it's like work. a dinosaur. Like, <laughs> hard work. But then I can yeah, say that about work. Harleys yeah. and the, the bikes yeah. that you ride. So yeah. I think once you're getting used to your type of bike, all the other types at the beginning looks for you like it's oh my god, it's so different. That's yeah. why it's so nice to ride different bikes. Even yeah. one to five, you learn sure. something. Yeah, yes, exactly. sure. because you learn something from a very light bike yeah. and and like from the yeah. performance. The yeah, like working all the gears, with your for example. Bike. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just got to ride them in a completely different way, and it's yeah. just nice yeah. for a change sometimes. Sure. Yes. Oh yeah. yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Right. Awesome. Okay, well, we'll wrap this up. Wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at that booty girl, work it, work it, damn son! <laughs> okay. Awesome, thank you! How was it, babe? Good. I forgot how tight that bend was. <laughs> Just done some photography shots, trying to hang off like gimps. Oh, nice Aston. And now we're back on the road. I swap with Ruby. So I'm on the yellow one now. This, this
this one feels less tight less tight it feels a bit more loosey-goosey a bit more sloppy jalopy which i like that <laughs> Put this baby to the test. Work the gears. Oh, some lovely bends here. Lovely. takes the lead gangster <laughs> in the speed limit but you're full chat <laughs> oh hidden speed bump 